What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to talk about presets. Now, my presets? No, you creating your own presets and why it is important and the reason why it can help you speed up your workflow. Also, I'm going to give you a little trick that I like to use as well when dealing with multiple photos. Now, let's go on over here to Lightroom and get started. Now, this is the photo that I have, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I use one of my presets on it, but if you're interested in it, the link is available in the description below. But after you come to a point where you edit the photo and you like it, this is the photo that you liked and all of that. I always encourage people to create a preset. Now, the reason why I encourage people to create a preset is because we all shoot alike. And what I mean when I say we all shoot alike is, sorry, it said my battery was going low. But what I mean when I say that we all shoot alike is not that I shoot like you or you shoot like me, but every time we shoot, we kind of have our own way that we do things. So that means we have our way that we like to edit our photos. So if you create a preset after every time you edit a photo, it helps you speed up your workflow in a way where once you come from a new shoot, you could kind of just go through a list of everything that you have. And if you like it, then you could apply it and tweak it or adjust it. Always remember when dealing with presets, it's not a final point. It is just a place for you to start adjusting. OK, let's go right back to this to this photo. All right. So like I said, this is where I'm satisfied with. So I'm going to come on over here to where it says preset and press the plus button. And from there, we're going to go to create preset. Now, right here, this is the thing about it. I'm going to help you out. You see where it says group? This is where you can choose the folder. Think of it as a folder uh, to put this in. So me, you know, I have all of my stuff. Let's for, for the purpose of this video, let's do new group. And we will name this new group preset video. OK. And at the top, it says the preset name. So let's just name this uh, preset video one. All right. Now this is where things get a little tricky and i want to explain it now if you look under where it says settings all of these settings go in order with what you see on the right side okay so if you see where it says treatment and profile at the tight top right it says treatment and profile you would check every single thing that you want to keep but i recommend you do not check white balance and the reason why is because we set our own white balance or our camera sets our white balance so if our camera sets our white balance we don't want to keep the white balance that's on the on the the current photo and use it on every single photo that we take because the white balance always change so uncheck that that way it will keep the white balance of every photo and apply all the rest of the settings so with that we're going to hit create so now that we created the preset i want to show you how i like to do things to speed up my workflow okay so let's go to the bottom left where it says copy now the thing about it is let's say our next photo which will be this photo right here right this photo isn't edited okay it, it looks bland as it should we want it to look like this so what we're going to do is we're going to come to where it says copy and we get that same menu again okay so with this we want to make sure we keep white balance unchecked unless you want to copy this white balance so we're going to hit copy okay now with your shift or your option key what i want you to do is go over to the last photo and leave your hand on shift and click it that way we highlight everything now we're going to come over here to the right side where it says sync and we're going to click that button now once again you get hit with this same menu now you get to choose exactly what it is that you want to sync all of the settings that i have is what i want now i will hit synchronize now before i hit this though i want you to pay attention to the top left where you can see the process to see exactly how fast this goes okay and there you have it less than two seconds but don't get me wrong if you were dealing with let's say about 45 pictures or something like that or even more it may take two three four five seconds now a couple years ago i used to wait for like a whole minute but light room for the win they've been doing things and you know improving their technology to bring us faster six speeds now let's go over exactly what it is that we just did so if we go to our next photo that wasn't edited look at it now remember this is what it looked like before and that's what it looks like now right and if we go to our next one now look this is a perfect example of what i mean keep in mind when we made our presets what we did was 
we brought all of our changes, but exposure may be different. And when I took this photo, it was a little brighter. So what is it that we need to do? Because there's only one thing. That's right. If you said it, adjust the exposure. So I'm going to take the exposure and I'm going to come down on it just a little bit. About right there. Looks like a sweet spot about, let's see. All right there. Negative 35. Now this looks good to me. And now I get to keep that. It, it applied all the sense. So if I look from this photo to this photo, they look about the same. Honestly, I'll probably even bump the exposure in this a little bit. So let's bump that up to about, oh yeah, about 26. And now identical, right? It's beautiful. Keep in mind, always, always create presets. And this is the way to apply a preset or just your settings to multiple images at once. If this video was helpful, please leave it with a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.